covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Good afternoon, I'm Hillary Hunt. Thanks so much for watching Arkansas Today. Let's start here at home. Senator Tom Cotton back in the natural state today to see how his state's recovering after those historic floods. You see him right behind me. His first stop, Faulkner County. Then he made his way down the river when he asked farmers what it's going to take to get the areas back on track, including the Lolly Levy. They responded money. I think it's going to be a joint federal state effort. You know, we passed a disaster funding bill a couple of months ago in Congress. Some of that money will be released uh, in the weeks and the months ahead in Arkansas. They definitely need that funding. Not only is the money going to be important to get the flooded areas back on track, but the senator says he's interested in what the governor's levy task force will figure out as well. Well, this is a stinky situation. Heavy rainfall causes a sewer line to leak into a West Fork Creek. Gross. Floodwaters washed away a portion of Dye Creek, exposing a line from the sewer treatment facility. That line carries treated sewer discharge into the river. West Fork's Mayor Heath Cottle says the city is working with the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality to fix that line. There's nothing to worry about with this. This is all treated water. Um, we, we are trying to, uh, uh, trying to get it rectified. Everything is monitored, treated, and it's, it's uh, safe. And although it doesn't look too good, the broken line poses no health hazards. Well, the world's largest retailer cracking down on underage smoking. Walmart and Sam's Club raises the age to buy tobacco and other smoking products from 18 to 21. It seems like a lot of people are making this push. The retailer also cutting fruit and dessert flavored nicotine e-cigarette products from its shelves. A law passed in May will gradually raise the state's minimum smoking age to 21. That's all happening by 2021. You'll have to be 19 to buy cigarettes starting in September. Jeffrey Church manages a smoke shop and says his store is just going to get more business from people who can't buy those cigs at Walmart. When it comes down to it, man, we don't push for underage smoking either. Walmart going 21 and up, they're trying to cover themselves. We're going to lose business off of this. The whole industry itself is going to lose business off of this. But we're going to gain that back. People grow up, people age. Both sides to every story, of course, you can imagine some aren't supportive of that change. One employee from a different shop says if you're old enough to join our armed forces, you should be old enough to buy cigarettes. Members of the military will be exempt from the state law. A Miller County judge hears arguments from both sides regarding police officer salaries in Texarkana, Arkansas. You may remember in 1996, voters approved a quarter cent sales tax to ensure city police officer salaries are equal to those on the Texas side, which is known as pay parity. Over a year ago, some citizens filed a lawsuit claiming the city mismanaged to dedicate sales tax revenue to those salaries. The city's attorney argues there's been no misappropriation of funds and the tax just doesn't generate enough money. The city filed for a motion of summary judgment to have the police parity tax deemed unconstitutional. The city would love to resolve this issue so that the sales tax could be maintained and kept. However, the city cannot continue to be, as I was saying, drugged by the city of Texarkana, Texas on the issue of salaries. Have they been good stewards throughout the years of collecting this money? We believe that there would have been enough money for there to be parity pay kept up with the city of Tishkana, Texas. Today, Judge Kirk Johnson, who you see right there, urged both parties to try and work out a solution before he has to make his decision. A motion by the defense for Judge Johnson to recuse himself from the case was denied. Sticking in Texarkana, Arkansas, officials gave the green light to finance renovations at the city's animal shelter. I love this. The city is agreeing to an $875,000 low interest loan that will be paid off in five years. Proposed plans would include building a new adoption floor. Love that. Officials say a portion of the current shelter actually has some water and electric problems. The good part about it is, is even though we could pay for it now, we have to 20's budget coming up, so we can allocate for it in the budget. We just paid off a financing option that we had for the last five years. It's going to fall in line with about the same payment amount, so it's a good time for us to do it. 
Gotta take care of those furry friends. The board also agreed to apply for a $69,000 match grant from the state to improve the old Boys and Girls Club. Happening today, the United States has sent nearly a dozen Air Force F-22 stealth fighters to the Persian Gulf state of Kuwait amid continuing tensions with Iran. It posted these photos on its website of several jets arriving there and said it was the first time F-22s have deployed to the area for U.S. air operations in the Middle East. This is pretty cool. Today, NASA's moon capsule passing a crucial stress test this morning. The are on lightning up the sky over Cape Canaveral. Look at that. That all happening in Florida during a practice run. Officials say they intentionally aborted the unmanned flight a minute into the flight and more than 30,000 feet in the air. That looks so cool. NASA is preparing to send Americans to the moon and Mars in 2024. A very emotional ceremony commemorates the 25th anniversary of the commissioning of the USS John McCain. Sailors create a sea of white as they mark the day aboard the ship, named for the former Arizona senator. Very emotional. Senator John McCain died last August from brain cancer at the age of 81. Well, happening on this day in 1776, the Continental Congress passed a resolution saying Britain's 13 colonies are and should be, quote, free and independent states. It was actually the vote that set the stage for America's Declaration of Independence just two days later. And on this day in 1937, aviator Amelia Earhart and navigator Fred Noonan disappeared in their plane over the Pacific Ocean. The pair was trying to fly around the world. And on this day in 1952, President Harry S. Truman dedicates Norfolk and Bull Shoals Dams in 1952.